Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. If it is your first time here, my name is Gigo and today we are back to the Pram Pram project. And as you can see, we've ordered for 500 blocks to continue with the project to the roofing state. What I'm doing now is to gather all the materials, you know, together, make sure I have the full set, you know, to complete it to the roof. And then we begin with work so that the guys can come on site, stay there and work till it's done. This way you save them the cost on transportation and they can also stay and work till late so they can wake up around maybe 5 o'clock and then they're going to start around 6 o'clock and then they will finish the work around 6. So it's, it's, so it's like from 6 to 6. So that's why I'm just trying to put everything together rather than they going up and down. As you can see, Airfo's team is also, you know, trying to get the pillars installed. So they are mounting, you know, trying to mount the columns or the pillars and they are the carpentry, you know, the carpentry side doing the carpentry work. I personally give them the name Air Force team, but it looks like they really like to be in the hoodie. So I'm going to call them the Robin Hood team. So anytime I mention a Robin, Robin Hood team, you know which guys I'm talking about. But uh, until they come up to tell me what name, you know, for their company, because I'm also trying to talk to them so that they can register individual, you know, they can register their own group so that we will be calling them by their, you know, their company's group, because that is what we're also trying to do. You know, it is a production group. So I also prefer that everybody registered his company so that we'll be use the name to call them as we progress, because as I always say, this is just the beginning. You know, I want everybody to grow, everybody to have his own company, you know, and be big. So that is the dream. And if it is your first time seeing this project, so this is a seven bedroom house with three floors. Every floor has its own uh, kitchen, you know, living room and a guest wash. The rooms are all in suit. And so far I have spent roughly around 23,520 US dollars on this whole project excluding the land price and if you are curious to know more about the cost breakdown you can check in my playlist you look for the pram pram project i have cost breakdown at every level at every stage from block to block pillar to pillar decking to decking you can check it out and you can pick out some points which might be useful for you for your project building is all about economics it's all, all about teamwork it's about having the right people on site. It's about using the right foreman, the right carpenter, the right iron rods, uh, steel benders, using an engineer for your project. Because if you don't have a team building a house for you, that will cost you so much because there will be a lot of mistakes. You know, there will be a lot of misuse of materials. That's why it's very necessary to use engineer when you are starting with a project some people think using engineer is expensive some are but if you start with an engineer and then when you get to the middle you introduce an engineer to come and just have a look you know just to monitor your project you don't have to use the engineer throughout but at least at every stage introduce an engineer to your project to have a look of what has been done so far and it will help you at the end you know, let me give you one big tip, you know, when it comes to reducing costs on your project. It is not about you using a cheap labor or you having a cheap labor. Because when you try to get cheap labors, pay your artisans real low, you only end up getting a shoddy job done. You understand? Because they're also working somewhere else. They know how much other people are paying them. And when you compare that to what you are paying them, they might not pay attention to your job so that's that's one thing we have to look it's not about cheap labor so the real the real you know facts you know if you want to reduce costs on your building is on wood because all the building materials that you buy for your project the only thing you can reuse again are the wood those are the things you can reuse again you cannot reuse the cement, you cannot reuse the block, you cannot reuse the iron rods, you cannot reuse anything. It's only the wood that you can reuse. So if you have a good carpenter that manages and you know have a maintenance culture on wood, you will reuse the wood so many times. As you can see, the wood I'm using now, <laughs> if I tell you 
how many times we've used this wood and if i tell you the kind of projects we've used this wood for you won't believe as i tell you i always give a shout out to my big man who i got this wood from we've used most of this wood for a project a complete project and i am still using this wood i use this wood for my first decking i use it for this second decking i've used it for my pillars i've used them so many times one thing that i also do is to replace you know some do get old some to, some also get broken alongside and i do buy once in a while maybe just two board to support three board to support or maybe because of the length i add a little bit to it and then i keep moving so the way to save cost on your project is on wood if you reuse your wood that is the best way so you need a good carpenter if you use your wood for decking or for pillar and you're not and you're not going to use them anymore you can apply this uh how do you call it they have this uh paint a black paint oil to just just ap apply it store it and you will have this incense eating you know or feeding on on the wood and when you need it for your next thing because if you start your project and you are going for floors like two three floors you will you need those wood so maybe alongside you need a, a special wood for something that's when you buy in a smaller quantity you use it you keep it and as you go you'll be needing them alongside so wood is very important you can reuse all the woods and you also like i said i, I keep mentioning carpenter carpenter because you need a carpenter who who when is done when the concrete work is done he has time to take the wood out patiently so that they don't break the wood because the moment they break the wood it becomes um, waste you understand on site so as you can see these woods i've used them so many times that's why i always give a big shout out to my senior man who gave me this wood and i've been using and be topping them up that's why you can see pieces you know of wood on site a lot of them and also we've joined a lot to get a complete set so if you need a carpenter that will manage your wood for you if you need a good carpenter get in touch with me you can send me an email and i'll forward their numbers to you so back to the projects so this is the view you get you know from the top floor which is the third level the penthouse so that's the view from the bedroom you know if you need a plan always get in touch with the gigo production group we will design something nice for you so entering into the bedroom of the third floor this is you know this is how far we are now and uh, the planning is to go with a sliding glass so we are mounting the pillars to hold the sliding glass so we also have a lot of windows as well you know at the back side i'll show you and explain to you why we put those windows so at the moment this is the this will be the balcony and that's where we are now at the balcony site the carpenter is also busy with his work so so that's the view of the bedroom so this is how it looks and then in between the two pillars is the balcony which you can also open to have a full bedroom so if you want to have the full size of the room you just open your sliding glasses and then you have the full bedroom so entering into the washroom so this is like your walking closet a little bit walking closet right there so this is the view you have when you're washing your face that's the bathroom so this will be the bathroom and then that's the view when you're taking your shower so we're gonna fix some glasses right here so that's the, your view the second view right there and then this your view when you are taking your shower and then we're gonna have some bathtub right there that's why we have the hose there so you have your bath and that's your view so we're gonna put the basin right there and facing your bedroom so it's a little bit mess right now so it's difficult to see the whole thing i think in three days time we'll cast and then uh you can see the whole show how everything goes i'm still planning though i'm still planning i'm spending the night and day at this site you know trying to get things together but with this you know with this wood you know mounted i get a shape 
of the house actually I, I really see how it looks and everything that i put on paper is you know is what is manifested you know in uh, real life so i'm very happy that i could do this you know i could just be somewhere just plan put on paper put a little bit of pressure and then it's done so if you're out there and anything you want to build is possible in ghana you know that is one thing about africa anything you want to build but you you need engineer to put it on paper for you so this is the kitchen so the kitchen is between the bedroom and the, i would say the lounge which i want to use as a lounge and every windows has a perfect view you know that is how this house is designed to have every windows every window you see has a perfect view as you can see every window it's all about the views you know that's why i came here i abandoned my my bigger project which is in the winner to come here because of the environment every view you see here is an amazing view and that's what the whole you know project is about to capture the views so the staircase area we're still working on a glass you know trying to find out information how much it's going to cost so far what i'm hearing is not a joke man so we see how far we go with the glass and i have spoken with one man you know i met at uh, la paz they do this glass thing and uh, we share idea i'll post this video i just met him one day so we spoke and then uh, we came up that i will put his details and his videos in my next episode that i'm going to load if you are, if you like what you see if you are interested you can get in touch with him i haven't used him yet so I don't really know him like I know him so but I'm just gonna give a shot put it there see how it goes with the people and if everything goes right then we're gonna put him on the channel we're gonna upload and get an update from him weekly or monthly for the channel so that you guys can also use his service so that is the view this is all about the Pram Pram project it's, it's all about the views it is all about the views so if you have your if you want to plan you know get in touch so we're going 360 so this is you know the left elevation view and uh, that's the right elevation view of the project and uh, yeah, still the right view of the project just i was just going around to see how it will look you know from afar so this is the back this is how it looks at the back side and uh, I'm I'm very you know I'm very happy to see this progress man from digging of trenches to this stage in less than two years. So that's the back view. You have two bedroom downstairs at the back. Guest washroom is in the middle, and uh, in the middle, the, which is the first floor, some people say, or second level, you have the smoke area, or you know the chill out area at the back also, just in case you have friends who smoke that's where they do their thing or we use it as a kitchen in the future we'll find out so this is the left view you know from the side how it looks and uh, this is the wide view from the left so let me know what you guys think about this design it looks like horrible from here really like i'm looking forward when the roofing is done and the plastering is done how it will look so thanks for staying with me till this far i really do appreciate your time spent on the channel progress is ongoing and i will see you in my next episode so